the first cameras I worked with for NBC, which was only four or five months after I got into the business, was the color cameras. And I they sent me, which I was so aggravated, they sent me, NBC sent me to the World's Fair, 64. Because they had a pavilion, they were hooked up with RCA, the RCA pavilion. And that was the first time people saw themselves on color television. Oh, look at me, they had a, a just a, a camera and a huge camera, TK45s if I, it might be the wrong number, but they were big. And I worked that, and I worked those cameras all through the World's Fair. And we did all kinds of different shows. <clears throat> and that's where I got mainly my experience, because we had a studio there, and we had to constantly put on shows because they had a gallery upstairs, a galley, whatever you call it, that come all around and watch a TV production in progress. We used to have cooking shows one hour, band another hour. They had schedule on it. And they used to just put you on camera and we used to shoot shows. They had a director, a, t a TD, everything. Then they used to play games with you. Okay, you're on. I'm going to the men's room. Just keep it going, Frankie. And I had to make moves and go there. The thing was going to maybe 20 sets in the, in the whole World's Fair. Now, anybody who goes to the World's Fair is watching television. It's got to be a whack job. <laughs> really, it's got to be a nut. Who's going to watch television while you're at the World's Fair? You're going to go to another pavilion, right? And every time we went out, because I did a lot of remotes, I was putting on a remote truck, and we did all the different pavilions. Not one television was ever on, <laughs> you know? Nobody watches television in the World's Fair. So you got a lot of, a lot of, lot of experience.